Downstairs in the emergency department, it's already a very busy day, and Dr. Jim Comas is keeping a watchful eye on the physicians and patients, including a man who recently lost his ability to taste. Hi, Mr. Thiessen. I'm Dr. Comas. you Nice to meet you. I supervise the other doctors taking care of you, and um, they were a little concerned because they told me that you're feeling weak and you also have some numbness to your tongue. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about that? I was feeling weak and jittery and uh, scared because uh, I didn't know what was going on and inside my mouth feels numb and tingling, a little weak on my left side and the bottom line, I was scared. Well, we'll try to have some answers for you. Do you have any problems uh, with your vision at all? No. No double vision? No. Do you have any problems uh, hearing or speaking? No. How about when you smile? Any, anything no. doesn't look right or when you form words, do they sound okay to you? Yes. They sound okay. okay to me, yes. Any problems with your arms or legs? Uh, Walking? Or? No. Okay. Uh, what are you worried about? Death. Death? Okay. Um, can you smile for me? Okay. Show your teeth? Okay, good. Look at your tongue? Stick out your arms for me like this. Close your eyes. Touch this finger to your nose. Okay. Touch this finger to your nose. Okay. Go ahead and, and pretend like you're playing the piano for me. Okay. Um, the numbness to the tongue can be a problem with one of the nerves. Is it? Is it happened to other people before? It's happened before, but. Um, Again, the fact that you have it on both sides of the tongue, and I know it's on one side more than the other, uh, and the fact that there's nothing else bothering you, it's just taste, is just unusual. Um, and so I think it's some, but that's just something that I'm gonna have to call somebody else about. Okay. Hopefully everything's okay. I'll give you some peace of mind. The next thing is we're gonna be calling a neurologist um, to ask about this patient has some numbness to the anterior part of their tongue without any other motor problems. We're worried about maybe this is a cranial nerve problem. Um, we, he may need an MRI or some advanced imaging. He looks pretty well. I don't think he's having a stroke, um, but it's a problem that I haven't encountered very often, so I'm gonna get some help. Down in emergency, Dr. Comas is juggling several Hi. patients. His latest patient is a woman with both heart and head injuries. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Dr. Comas, how are you? Not so good, huh? So good. Yeah, otherwise you wouldn't be in the hospital, would yes. you? Okay. Yeah. Uh, what happened today? I've been having chest pain since Saturday, and um, I blanked out Saturday and hit the tile, and I had this big gash on my head right here, and the pain's coming harder and harder, so. How's your head now? It looks like it's exploded. Okay. I'm, I'm, so I'm worried about two things. One is I'm worried about the fact that you're having this bad headache and you're, I think you're on a blood thinner, is that right? Yeah. And you have chest pains and you're passing out. I think we need to bring you into the hospital and uh, be absolutely certain that this is not your heart. I hope I'm wrong, but uh, I'm concerned about that. I'm gonna look at your electrocardiogram and then I'm gonna go ahead and look at your CAT scan. All right, nice meeting you. Thank you. Take care. Uh -huh. So looking at the uh, electrocardiogram, um, as an emergency physician, uh, what I mostly care about is whether they're having an acute heart attack or not. And um, it doesn't appear to be the case. She has a normal sinus rhythm, uh, a left atrial enlargement. There's no ischemic changes. This is somewhat reassuring. It doesn't uh, rule out a heart attack, but it makes it less likely. So now we're gonna go ahead and look at the CAT scan. In the emergency department, Dr. Comas is caring for a woman who collapsed and hit her head. She also has a history of heart problems. We're looking for blood, and blood on CASCAM looks white. So we're gonna scroll through this image here. This is a CAT scan of the brain. This looks normal. The radiologist has pointed out some abnormality in the basal ganglia, this little, what's called a hypodensity, which is a little dark area. Doesn't look like blood but maybe this is an old stroke. It wouldn't explain her headache, nor would it explain why she's passing out. It might be where she had her old stroke that she, she told us about. I don't see any bleeding, that's somewhat reassuring. We'll try to make her feel better, and we'll be admitting her to the hospital to, be, to evaluate and do a, a full cardiac evaluation. In the ED, 
Dr. Comus has an update for his patient who recently lost his ability to taste. Okay. Um, we were able to speak with the neurologist on the phone. He's actually a stroke specialist as well. There's a unlikely chance, but it's not 0%, that a stroke in the back of your brain could cause you to have just numbness in the part of your tongue without any other problems. I don't think that's what's going on. However, uh, we're gonna do what's called an MRI, and an MRA will get a really good look at your face and your brain and all the plumbing that feeds all the arteries and veins that feed to your, to your brain to make sure that everything's okay. It's unlikely, but possible, that somebody could have uh, a problem with one of the vessels feeding the brainstem that could cause abnormal taste of the tongue without any other problems of the face or the musculature or the eyes. I think there's a very low chance this is gonna be something on MRI, but uh, we're able to get that imaging today. And if it's normal, we'll be able to prevent a hospitalization and send them home.